Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Ari Temkin. Today, you're gonna to hear my interview with Rob Davis, the assistant head coach of the Dallas Cowboys, and why I think he's the most intriguing hire by Mike McCarthy. But first, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. That way you're always notified whenever I make a new video. Rob Davis played for Mike McCarthy in Green Bay's long snapper and then retired and moved into a role in the personnel department, the front office, as player development. Then he left the Packers in the NFL and worked for Pierce Manufacturing as the Senior Director of People and Culture, which should give you a pretty good idea of what his specialty is. Now, he was never a coach, so being assigned assistant head coach was an intriguing hire for Mike McCarthy and his staff because he always worked in the personnel department. He always worked on the player development side, but never as a coach. So he's really intriguing because this is sort of an outside-the-box hire for an organization that really hasn't had a lot of outside the box hires. In a moment, you'll hear my interview with him and he'll lay out pretty clearly what his role is going to be. And you'll start to get a really good sense of what's really important to Mike McCarthy. And that is players, culture, and chemistry. And the camaraderie and development of that locker room. And that's a huge part of what Rob Davis brings to the table. Without further ado, here's my interview with Cowboys assistant head coach, Rob Davis. Visiting with assistant head coach, Rob Davis. So. From a news perspective, it seemed surprising considering your background. Mm -hmm. So tell me kind of the genesis of how this job came to be for you. Well, as you know, I've worked with Mike for a long time. I played with Mike. We have an excellent friendship. And, uh, you know, he's someone that he, that, he, that he trusts. I'm someone that he trusts. And when this opportunity came about, um, I certainly didn't ask for that title. Um, and when that was presented to me, uh, it was a little overwhelming. Uh, but my role doesn't change. My role is to come and make sure that we get the most out of our men, uh, that, that we can help this team get to a championship level. Uh, Mike's really big into the locker room environment, and he wants the locker room cohesiveness and the development of the men to be at a high level, and that's what he brought me down here first and foremost. Uh, he always talks about the locker room as the most important room in the building, and so he puts a big emphasis on that. And so uh, having grown up in the locker room for over two decades, uh, not upstairs, but in the locker room on the floor, as we call it, the salt mine, uh, he thought that some of my transferable skills would be an asset to him down here as he tries to build a champion. How excited were you to kind of move from upstairs to downstairs from your role being in the personnel department to now being in the locker room on a daily basis? Well, when I left the game in 2008, I went immediately into player development. Um, I was a locker room leader as a player, um, you know, not as a superstar player, but as a guy who came to work, lunch pail guy every day. Uh, but I was always about the team. I was all about, you know, the organization winning championships and trying to do it the right way. Um, when this opportunity presented itself from a team development standpoint to be able to help put a stamp on, you know, this excellent opportunity that Mike has been provided uh, to join the staff that he has put together, um, I feel like I'll be a great complimentary piece to that. Um, you know, as I said, it's not so much about the title, but it's more about the work that's going to try to be done to try and help this team win a championship. When, when you were announced as part of the staff, it seemed like there was a lot of excitement because of the unknown. Mm -hmm. You know, we heard Mike through media interviews this offseason talk about ev evolving mm -hmm. analytics department, those kinds of things, which I think a lot of Cowboys fans and, and media were excited about. I mean, what do you bring the, to the table, not just from a, um, a locker room standpoint, mm -hmm. but are there other components that you mm -hmm. think are important for the success of this team? Well, yeah, you know, obviously there's a lot of pieces that touch this football program, you know, from a lot of different departments, whether it's personnel, player development, uh, strength and conditioning, coaching, administration. Uh, there's a lot of areas that touch the players and touch the locker room, and I feel like I can help out in a lot of areas as far as being a trusted resource for the for not just Mike McCarthy, but for the coaching staff, for uh, Todd Williams and his department in football administration and operations, uh, Will McClay and his group and personnel. So I feel like, you know, with my knowledge of studying the game and being around the game at a high level for a very long time, will be an asset uh, of, and a value to what we're trying to get accomplished here. But ultimately, it's about the players on the field. Um, those are the guys that are going to win the championship. And Mike has just put a group of men together that he feels is highly qualified to help bring that down here. 
you know, a lot of people look at the Cowboys from outside and think, you know, it's it's not a, a collective group in terms of personnel acquisition, the draft, but it is. And mm-hmm. we've seen that, especially mm-hmm. in recent history, where assistant coaches have a big say in draft mm-hmm. and, and that stuff. I mean, is that is that a part of it too? And and how important do you think it is to have coaching input in terms of draft and, and, and personnel decisions? Well, I don't know how that works. Uh, that's that's what Will and his department, that's Coach McCarthy and the Jones family. Uh, I don't really know much about that. Um, if they are asked me to be a part of that, I certainly will be. Uh, but when the players do arrive here, that's where the rubber hits the road for me, building those relationships, trying to build a build a winning culture that you know this organization has been very proud of for many years uh, ultimately it's about trying to put another trophy in the case for us and that's my main focus every single day uh, it's kind of like jazz it's unscripted uh, but every day uh, I know that you know coach McCarthy staff and myself we're going to be tireless workers with one goal in mind and that's to try to win that championship we understand the expectations we understand the pressure that goes with this, you know, wearing this star, and we want to try to do it as proud as we can. You, you like jazz? Yes. Who's your favorite jazz musicians? Coltrane. Coltrane? Yeah. You listen to that nonstop? Or? Uh, not nonstop. I, you know, I like a variety of music. You know, I'm a 51-year-old guy, so I listen to <laughs> some oldies. I don't listen to very much young hip-hop music anymore. Um, but just, you know, stuff that keeps my mind nice and peaceful, and uh, and I think sometimes it's good. It helps me do my job better when I can just kind of relax and sort of bring those players into a different space, uh, meeting them where they're at. Um, you know, I've been said to be a mentor, big brother, a uncle, sometimes even a father figure. But more importantly, I'm into the development of men and to the development of high-performing teams. And I hope to be able to provide that stability down here as part of Coach McCarthy's staff. Does that start with you sort of reaching out individually to every player that's like under contract? I mean, how does that process begin for you? Well, it's kind of, you know, um, so far I've been able to meet the players that are here in town and just spend 15, 20 minutes with each of them. You know, I met Travis Frederick and, and Zach and some of the guys who, who are big staples of this program and just – really tell them what Mike has brought me on to do and so far the reception has been very good and you know they're looking forward to working with me and I'm looking forward to working with them because you know at the end of the day the players want the exact same thing the coaches and the organization and this community want they want to win they want to win championships and you know I'm sure it was difficult to move on from the old staff that's part of football uh, but we look forward to coming in here uh, collectively working with everybody and trying to win the day um, you know, there's no magic formula other than hard work. You got to have some luck, obviously. You got to stay healthy. You got to have the horses. You got to have the players. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, we understand how hard it is to do that. And so we're looking forward and we, we're looking forward to that challenge. Have you seen Mike evolve from the last time he's a head coach to now? Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, I got a chance to spend some time with Mike and doing his year out. And, you know, I was there when he got the job in Green Bay at 39 years old and the excitement around that. Um, And I was on his team for two years um, prior to him, you know, to me retiring. And so, you know, every coach, man, they they work so hard to just try to get one win. And this is a tough league to win in. And uh, like I said, you got to have some good support staff. You have to have some good coaches, teachers. Um, and then you got to go out there and perform. You know, the team that makes the least amount of mistakes and usually has the best chance of winning. And so we want to be smart first and foremost. We want to be tough. You know, we want to make sure we're keeping the main thing the main thing uh, and understanding that we're all in this together and it's going to take every piece to the puzzle, all 53 men on the team, the 10 practice squad guys, the coaching staff, everybody in the building rowing in the same direction for us to accomplish the goal that we want to accomplish.